Hi everyone, I'm going to do a quick tutorial video on how to build out your profile, as well as how to create connections on the platform. So once you've logged into the platform um, to start your profile, you're going to go ahead and click up on the top right corner, should have your initials, hit this little arrow, drop down, and you're going to click on my profile. Once you click on my profile, there's a couple of things you can fill out. The first thing that we would advise you to do is add a picture if you feel comfortable. To do that, you're just going to go ahead and click add photo. It will pull up um, pictures on your computer. So however that's saved, go ahead and click on it. And then you'll just hit the open button. As you can see, it uploaded there. Feel free to um, add as much information as you want to here. I'm not going to fill out my information just so that um, I can have privacy. Do you want to note here that this may look a little different once the platform is live. We will not be sharing your phone number or email without any of your permission. Um, and that will only be available to those that you want to share it with. So just please know that there is privacy around that. So fill out the top information here as much as you would like. Um, the next question that you want to answer is how would you like to share your e-business card? So that is the information that you're going to fill out here. There's three options. Let me approve connection requests. Instantly accept connection requests and share my e-business card. And don't include, sorry, don't include me in connect list. So essentially what this means is the first option, let me improve connection requests. If someone wants to connect with you or chat with you, it'll give you a notification that they are requesting to reach out to you. And you have the option to either accept that or decline that. Um, so if you're someone that wants to be sure you know who you're talking to before you connect with them, I would suggest clicking that. If you're open to um, connecting with anyone, you can go ahead and click on this middle option. If this is something that you're wanting to disregard, then you'll go ahead and click on the do not include me in connect list. Um, there is an opportunity for you as well to fill in the little biography. So feel free to share a little information about you, both professionally and personally. And then it does give you the opportunity to share your location as well so that you can connect with other patients, caregivers um, that are attending the conference as well in your area. So for example, I am located in Boise, so I would go ahead and choose the U.S. West. Once you have filled out everything that you want to, you're going to go ahead and hit this big green button down at the bottom that hits save. Okay, and then you can see here that it shows that my card has been updated, which is great. Now um, we're going to go ahead and go over the connections or the chat feature. So you can see as I pulled up my profile here um, over in the left hand side, it's providing me with some connections and chatting. So once I click this connect button after I have filled out my profile, you can see that a um, few people here pull up that are recommended for me to connect with. So Essentially what that means is that we have things in common, whether it be we're patients or caregivers, or maybe there's other people that are in the United States in the West region or um, similar interests. So it kind of recommends those based off what you fill out in your profile to give you kind of the best matches to match you up and connect you with people that have similarities to you. So if you see someone that you're interested in connecting with, you can hit this little plus button. And what that is going to do is going to send them a request to connect with them or to be able to chat with them. So if that's something you like to do, you'll go ahead and hit that green yes button to confirm that. Um, and then you also have the opportunity to send them a message. Uh, you also can do group messaging. So if there's someone else that you're wanting to add as well, you can go ahead and add them up here at the top. You'll go ahead and type your message, whatever you want to say, and then you'll hit send. And that is how you chat. Your chats will show up in your notifications um, at the very top. Now you can see up here, there are a couple different tabs of connections. So there is an opportunity where you can take a look of all of the attendees that are listed. So of course, um, 
it's not limited to just those who you're recommended to. If there's someone, a friend or um, someone maybe that spoke that you're wanting to connect with, same idea here. You'll just click on this all attendees tab and um, go ahead and click this plus button with the person if you're wanting to connect with them. If you're wanting to just send them a chat, you can go ahead and click on this bubble. Um, once you have sent a request to people, you will see if they've approved, you will see it under this My Connections tab. Um, if you click on the Incoming Connections request, this will also show you um, if people have requested to connect with you. So it's kind of similar to Facebook, whereas if someone were to send you a friend request, same kind of concept. So if someone wants to connect with you, you'll see a request there and you can either approve or decline. And then this also does let you keep track of who you have sent requests to. So that is a little bit about your profile.